This next question is number 28 in chapter 6, 6-28, 6 and the subject is danger bearing. Danger bearing is a um, technique that's used to help you avoid an, an underwater obstruction uh, and to assure that you stay to one side of it. So let's read this question and then we'll, we'll set it up on the chart. This says, on this date, you are located at this latitude longitude and you intend to enter Sakonet River necessitating that you round Sakonet Point and the offlying Skylo Ledge with the shallows and rocks. To safely maneuver this turn, you select the silo at Sash West Point. To set up a danger bearing, draw a danger bearing between the silo and tangent to the 30-foot contour line at Skylo Ledge. What is that bearing? And as you proceed in, should you keep the compass bearing on the silo greater or less than this danger bearing? And we look at chartlet number two. And the important point here is we are over here. And here's a danger bearing. The point is the danger bearing is telling us, hey, before you go that way, you got to get out here past the danger bearing on the south side of the danger bearing or else you're going to run into these rocks before you pass them. And the bearing on the silo helps keep us on the correct side of the danger bearing. The bearing on the silo will have to be greater than the danger bearing to stay to the left side of the danger bearing. So let's go through the steps of this a piece at a time. Starting out, the question said, draw a line between, draw a danger bearing between the silo, which is here, and the 30-foot depth contour. So that established a line of position. We call it a danger bearing between the silo and the 30-foot depth contour. And we look at the chart and plainly, without any education on the whole question, you would say, I have to stay to the left, to the south side of that line, or else I'm going to be potentially on these rocks. So even though I'm starting from here, the first thing I have to do is look at my chart, where I'm at, and I have to say, OK, look, I've got to get over this way across that danger bearing before I start proceeding in this way. And this is a very practical real world technique that can be used and can be often used to stay out of a danger area. But you have to recognize that the danger bearing itself is attached to the earth. It's run from a depth contour, which is part of the earth, and it's run to a fixed silo, which is attached to the earth. So this danger bearing is, has nothing to do with the water, has nothing to do with your boat. It has to do with a line on the earth that says you want to be to the left of it, to the south of it, as you pass this, these shallows here. Now, in order to do that, we're going to take a bearing on the silo with our ship's compass. We're going to sight on the silo. And if I sight a certain angle on the silo, I can plot a line from the silo, whatever that bearing was. And that's going to tell me where I am, my, my location. But my limiting value for that is the danger bearing. So we draw the danger bearing at 316 true. We go back to the calculations, and I have 316 true. I have 16 west for variation. I got 332 magnetic. I go to my deviation table, 332 magnetic, and here I am here, and I'm between 329 and 358. So I'm pretty close to 329. I'm going to choose one west. I'm going to come back to here. I'm going to put one west in for my deviation. I'm going to have 333 per ship's compass. Now, what that says is that the, it says that this danger bearing is 316 true. And it says that it's 333 per ship's compass. So if I am right on the danger bearing, my compass on the silo should be, should say 333. My bearing to the silo should be 333 
if I'm on the danger bearing. If I come to the left side or the south side of the danger bearing, that bearing to the silo is going to increase. So I want my bearing to the silo as I proceed in to remain more than 333 PSC. If I get down to 333, I know I'm close to these rocks. If I get below 333, I'm going to be running into the rocks. And remember that the PSC on the silo is not the boat heading. I may have a strong current flowing from my left side, from my port side, flowing this direction. If I have a strong current flowing in that direction, I may have to compensate. So here I have a current flowing in this direction. I may have to steer towards that. My key guidance here is what is the bearing on the silo? If I come into here and, and the current starts shoving me to the right, and I'm out here, let's say, and my bearing to the silo is 345. Say, okay, I'm comfortable. If I'm 345, I'm well off my danger bearing. Now I come up here and the current catches me and I start seeing that bearing to the silo goes 343, 340, 335. Whoa, I'm being pushed towards that danger bearing. I have to steer more to the left in order to have the bearing to the silo stay 333 or greater, preferably a lot greater than 333. I don't try to steer that 333. I'm going to put in 10 degrees or 15 degrees, maybe 20 degrees, to make sure that I'm off that danger bearing until I'm certain that I'm past those rocks. So I have to manage that bearing as I proceed in. I know this can be very confusing, but it all straightens out for you if you keep two things in mind. One, I want to stay, in this case, to the left of, of my danger bearing. And secondly, as I go to the left, the bearing to the silo increases. As I go to the right, the bearing to the silo decreases. So let's look at this. As, a, as an illustration of what I'm talking about. Here is the, here's the danger bearing, the 333, that is important to me. 333 PSC. And the, and the uh, shoals are over here on the right-hand side of it. I want to stay to the left of that danger bearing. Now notice that if I have this compass here, and I'm, I'm moved over to the left of the danger bearing, I'm reading here roughly 340. See, 330, 340. If I take this same compass and move it over here to the right of the line, look what happens to the number. It becomes less than 300. It's about 290. So anytime you are to the left of the danger bearing, the compass reading will be greater than the danger bearing. If you're to the right, it will be less. The same concept works regardless of the direction of this danger bearing. If I take this bearing, let's say for another situation, and turn it facing that way, the principle will still be the same. To the left of the line, the bearing is greater. To the right of the line, the bearing is less. So the answer to the question is, I want the bearing to the, to the silo to be greater than 333 to ensure that I stay to the left of the line. And that's the concept of danger bearing.